Hey, what's up again, Fosh? Anime bringing you a series of view for a series that just wrapped up called Cari Carino Mosaic, which is a 12 episode series about a school comedy uh, slice of life series. It's by Studio uh, Gokumi, I think they're called. And they did uh, Prime Edge last season. Now, they're not really known for doing a bunch of shows, I and mean, I will consider them kind of new in this world of anime, but. Yeah, they're not bad. And, uh, let's see. The story basically follows, we have like a little girl from Great Britain or, or England, who, I guess, they sure reveal that a Japanese girl comes and visits her for about, I don't know how many, maybe a year or two, for a homestay, which basically is what it is, it sounds like. You basically visit a family for a year or a couple months, and you kind of interact with them and learn the culture in the area. And, yeah, they revealed that these two girls a little met, and they're kind of, the British girls scared of the Japanese girl for a while. And eventually they become friends through, you know, hanging out and learning each other's language. And they jump to, I don't know how many years later, but the blonde girl actually comes to Japan to visit the girl, and her name's Shinobu, so, and her name's Alice. So they kind of go to school f together for, I guess they're in high school, they go to, I don't know how long they've been together, but... So basically, Alice is staying with Shinobu's family as her homestay, as a, I guess, since they did a reverse. So, you know. And now we have uh, Alice staying with her, which is kind of a cool story, kind of an interesting setup. I mean, you wouldn't think much of it, but it is more of a comedy. They do. After episode one, I think the episode one's more of a, like a feel good episode. It just, you see these two people that aren't used to each other kind of come together and become friends stepping over language barriers and everything. And it's, it's kind of a nice nice little touch like that for this episode. Really good. It's a little emotional because you get attached to these people real fast. They make the characters just really nice and not annoying in any way. And while we have the story, we introduce other characters that kind of interact with uh, the two main characters. We have uh, Yoko, she's got red hair. She's more of like a feisty tomboy and kind of the way she acts and everything. Then you have Aya, who, uh, she's got, like, blue twin-tail hair, and she basically loves Yoko. They kind of hint towards that the entire series, that she likes her, and, you know, more than just friends, but they don't really go into hardcore Yuri or anything like that, because in the end it's just comedy, slice life school stuff, and, yeah. And then we have the last girl, Karen, who is also a girl from, uh, I guess, England. She's a friend of Alice, and she... She's one of my favorite characters because she will just speak out random English words while she's speaking Japanese, and I just think, I've, to me, that always catches my my ear, and I'm, I'm listening or watching this. And she's a very hyperactive character. She's bouncing around there always, and she's got the most active imagination. And she's just a likable character all around. She doesn't really come off as annoying when you first meet her. I mean, she just kind of blends in well with the other character. And. Yeah, so we have Alice, again, like I said, she, for her personality, she's kind of shy around certain people, and she loves Shinobu, and will probably do anything to get by, to get with Shinobu, or, get, or be with her. There's even a scene like episode, I think, 10 or 11, where they go to the next year of school, and they realize we're being split up, we're not in the same class anymore, and Alice kind of freaks out, because she's stuck with uh, Yoko. Not that she doesn't like the other girls, but she doesn't, she's so used to being around Shinobu that it's hard for her to get you know, get away from that, since they're, they're just, she wants to be with her all the time, like I said. And watching everyone together, I think, is the best moments of the series. Even though it's a school place, they don't really do any schoolwork much, but they do study for, like, the English test and like that. But when you have all four or five of these characters together, it's just a goofy time watching them interact and just play off each other. Especially Yoko and Aya, who, Aya is kind of, like I said, loves Yoko, but she won't say anything to her. So, like, I think it's funny watching these two just, like, struggle with each other's feelings, even though Yoko's oblivious to all of it. She doesn't understand what's going on. Basically, she's dense, so, yeah. And, there's not really anything outstanding to mention about the series. I will say some negatives would be, like, the repeatable jokes. They kind of do repeat the whole Shinobu likes blonde girl, so they kind of drill that to the ground really fast. While that is funny, it, like I said, it does get old after a while, and you're like, okay, you've made this joke a couple times now, you know, you can move on from that. And another thing to mention, 
not the best animation around. I mean, if you go to like a school comedy, you want something like maybe uh, Watamote, which has some okay animation. It's, you know, decent. So, and I think the only thing that I would mention is uh, for the, the positives is the English, like I said. They, they have, I think episode one is full of English. You have Alice just saying everything in English. It's kind of funny watching that. And her trying to speak Japanese. So they did a good job in the voice acting for those parts. Even though I know some people would think, oh, English and Japanese is kind of never comes off as good or professional at all. Yeah, I, would, I guess I would agree to that. And the other positives would be the cool music and a nice OST and great characters. Like, I think all the characters are interesting. Even though I think Karen is probably the most interesting character of all, of all of them. And the last thing I mentioned, in episode 12 was kind of interesting. They had. Like, half of it was just them goofing around, and the other half was kind of a weird musical mashup of, like, pirates and princesses and fairy tale themes. It was kind of kind of weird seeing a musical like that. Like, you don't see very many anime going the musical route like this, where it's just, they bust out a song and it's like a story behind it. Unlike Valve Rave, that did it kind of randomly, or a, a Love Lab, or there's a few other shows that have done this in the past, but yeah. Overall, for the final review, I'll give this a 7 out of 10. Like I said, it's not the best series out there, but it did make me laugh and have some nice heart heartfelt moments on some of the characters. And Season 2, I could actually see it happening easily. I mean, there is a chance for them to do some real drama in this series with uh, Shinobu and you know Alice finally having to go back to their respective countries and just having to stay away from each other for a while or separate, but... I don't see it, that being too dramatic. I mean, they could all, they could spin it off as, well, Alice goes to college and she runs into Shinobu and they go to college together and they move into each other. Like that. But yeah, Karina Mosaic, 7 out of 10. Interesting stuff. See ya.